In this video, I'm going to show you how to move your apps or programs to another drive on your Windows computer. So before we start with the video, I'd recommend creating a restore point on your computer because we're going to be moving different files and folders around. So to do this, just head over to your start menu and search for create a restore point and click on the window like so. Now from here, just select the drive where your files or applications are currently saved. So mine is the C drive and then just press create. Then go and give your restore point a name. I'm going to call this restore one and then simply click on the create button so now that we have our restore point if you are to miss any of the steps in this video you can always come back over to this restore point so in order to move your files or applications to another drive you first need to head into the drive where your files or folders are currently saved now your applications can usually be found in your C drive and then if you scroll down you'll need to check both of these folders here which is program files and if you can't find your application in here you can always check in program files files x86 as well so for the purpose of this video let's say I wanted to copy this epic games application here so what you would need to do is double click on the folder or application that you want to copy to a new drive and then if you click in the address bar at the top here it should look something similar to this so it should have your drive program files followed by a slash and then your folder name so what we're going to do is just select this address at the top right click and press copy now what you need to do is head over to the start menu on your computer and just search for notepad and open up the notepad now in this blank document type in the word robo copy and then hit the space bar then type in quotation marks and we just need to right click somewhere in the document and press paste and that should copy the URL, the address that we just copied. Then type in closing speech marks like this. And now what we need to do is head back over to our file explorer. Click on your computer from the left hand side. And now select the drive that you're going to be moving these files to. So I'm moving mine from my C drive to my D drive. So I'm going to click on the D drive. And then somewhere in this drive, just right click, click on new and select folder. Now what we can do is give our folder a name. So I'm just gonna call this one programs and hit enter. And then you need to double click on the folder that you just created to come inside of it. Now, once you're inside of this folder, then once again, come over to the address bar at the top here. And we're gonna highlight everything in this address bar, right click and select copy. Now head back over to your notepad, press the space bar after the last quotation marks, and now type in a second pair of quotation marks, then right click and press paste, followed by closing quotation marks. And now what you need to do is after the folder name, just type in backwards slash, and then you can just go and type in the name of your application just so our folders are nice and neat and tidy so i'm just going to write in epic games and what that will do is create an epic games folder inside of this programs folder now at the end of the quotation marks press the space key then type in forward slash sec space forward slash move space forward slash and the letter e now what you can do is head over to the start menu on your computer, search for CMD and then right click on the command prompt and run this as administrator. Now we just need to copy all of this that we just made on our notepad by right clicking and pressing copy. Then come back over to the command prompt window and you're just going to press the right click on your mouse to paste all of this inside of here and then press the enter key. And as you can see, you should get something like this pop up on the screen. And this is basically just copying all of the files and folders across. Now, once this is finished, there's one more command that we need to enter inside of here. So come back over to the notepad and just hit the enter key a couple of times. And now you need to type in mlink. And then we're going to copy all of this command at the top here to the end of these quotation marks. So you don't need to worry about this piece of text at the end here, just from the beginning quotation marks to the ending quotation marks. And then we're going to right click, press copy, then hit the space bar after M link and just paste all of that text. Now at the end of this, type in spacebar forward slash and the letter J. And one thing I missed here is actually it should be MK link at the beginning, not M link. So make sure this says MK link here in order for this to work. And then we're just going to select all of this text, right click and press copy. Now make sure you're only copying this second line and not the first one. Then head back over to the command prompt window. Once again, right click on your mouse to paste all of that text and press the enter key. Now, just like that, it should come up with this window saying junction created for. And it's as simple as that, guys. That's how you copy your applications from one drive to another. If you did find this video helpful, then let me know in the comments and I'll see you with the next one.